What would you call an extreme test of a car's all-wheel drivability? I'm talking about sheer cliffs, a Colorado snowstorm, and 12,000 feet of elevation. I would call that, and we're calling that, the brand new Loveland Gauntlet. Loveland Pass is right up there, and today I'm going to take this brand new 2014 LX570 up to the top of the Loveland Pass to see just how well it handles these extreme Colorado conditions. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Now I have an ace in the hole going up the Loveland Gauntlet and that is that this LX570 is based on the Toyota Land Cruiser which is in my mind one of the most off-road capable vehicles ever built. I have a whole bunch of switches here. I have a control that lets me switch the suspension from comfort to sport. I have variable height control which means I can lower and raise the car. I also have crawl control which hopefully won't be using today. I have a high and low. Uh, differential which lets me switch the car from high to low but perhaps the most important switch which I will be utilizing today is this one over here you can't see that turns on the heated steering wheel and of course this one over here which turns on the heated seats no 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 the most important switch is this one that lets me lock the differential so that if we do get stuck hopefully we'll be able to crawl our way out we also have a switch here that puts us in second so that the car doesn't spin when I floor it which I won't be doing and of course I have Andre behind the camera how you doing Andre so let's go up the Loveland Gauntlet and see how this bad boy does. Come on, Andre, hop in. Up the Loveland Gauntlet for the very first time in a proper Colorado snowstorm. Yeah. Now, this is a test, Andre, of this car's all wheel drive system and it's quite sophisticated and quite complicated so I think we're just gonna let it do its own thing. Agree? Yeah, yeah, it's a lesson. Yeah, of course you can have all this technology but one of the most important aspects of driving in conditions like this they are the tires that we're using and I think that these all seasons are great uh, for 90% of the time when you have a lot of rain, light snow, but in this kind of condition I would much prefer to have dedicated snow tires. And I'm saying that because if you own this car and you live in Colorado, chances are you probably get dedicated snow tires. Da, yeah, don't mind. Because we just have too much snow and unlike other parts of the country, here in Colorado they don't actually plow the side streets. They plow the main streets but not the side streets. So if you get into your neighborhood and you don't have the uh, proper tires, you can get stuck very quickly. So what's under the hood? Well, you got a 5.7 liter V8, but really not that important because today it's not about what's under the hood, it's what's right here. These are Dunlap all season mud and snow tires. And this is what the manufacturer specified to be on this car. And we at TFL do real world testing, which means we drive the car and test the car the way that the manufacturer supplies it and the way that somebody might come up here after renting this to go skiing. So this is the tires that we're going to use and this is what's going to take on the new Loveland Gauntlet. But so far, um, given the fact that we're doing real world testing, these tires feel uh, very capable. I'm feeling very secure going around this turn. I think that all the magic that the uh, stability control system is bringing to the table is also helping, right? We've got uh, the car appropriating power. Smarty, smarty. Oh, 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 look at that. We've got a snow plow coming down and we've got a Jeep that stopped ahead of us uh, oh. for some odd reason. I have no oh. idea why he stopped. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to pass him. Yeah, you think he's stranded? 
you think we should help him? Why don't, why don't, why don't you see if he's okay, if he needs some help? Uh, let's ask him if he's okay. Are they okay? Are you okay? Okay, they said they're okay. Good. All right, there's a car behind us trying to get past us as we're asking this guy for help. Um, you can tell by the road conditions that it has been plowed, but that it's pretty slick underneath. But, and, and of course, the snow is still falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, I had no problem getting going there. I don't yeah. even have it in the second gear. I can throw it in there, but I don't think it really matters at this point. I think this car is uh, very capable indeed in these kinds of conditions. Now. Loveland Gauntlet starts out pretty simply. There's a, a nice road that's leading up into the mountains, but as you get higher, uh, it does tend to have these cliffs where if you were to go off the side of the road, there would be no stopping until you rolled on I-70 down there. Yeah, смотри, сколько, look at traffic. I-70 is backed up. Yeah, ah. I think there might be some avalanche blasting going on today. Hey, Andre, do you hear what's? Do you hear that? Stop, you guys, stop, stop. You hearing that? I think those are uh, avalanche sirens. This is going to be a true test of this car's ability to mountain goat its way up to the top of uh, the Loveland Pass. Um, the other nice thing about this Lexus is you sit up high. You have a sense of kind of you're looking over. Me know it's the самый хороший Lexus, я думаю. I know. Самый хороший. This is your favorite. Yeah. In the uh, last video we did. You actually said that this is your favorite Lexus in the entire lineup. Is that true? Да, да, абсолютно. Why is that? Он сидит высоко. Очень, очень комфорт. Oh, you like the comfort? Да, очень хорошо, очень хорошо. You like the way that you can mess uh, and change the suspension from comfort. You like all those settings. I do too. You know, it's really cool. I feel like. Uh, I've got the technology to take on the worst that Mother Nature has to throw at us, and believe me, she's throwing a lot at us. You're watching Tiha this. So, очень комфортабельно. It's very очень, comfortable очень, in here. Очень тихо. Yeah, yeah. You can't even hear the snow as it's uh, whipping across uh, our road. I'm expecting a wolf to come bounding out of the woods at any second. Actually, not great, but you know, I was nervous doing the Loveland Gauntlet because, um, well, let's face it, this is pretty extreme up here. And you, and you know, uh, we just passed the place where they closed the Loveland Pass, and we're expecting anywhere from uh, a foot to two feet of snow, and mm -hmm. I suspect this will get closed. Ну хотя бы мы уедем. Yeah, hopefully we'll get down before. А то мы на ночь. Before it closes. Ночью. Yeah, yeah. Now here comes the first kind of hairpin turn, uh, and this signals the place where it starts to get a little tricky potentially because there are. Смотри, какой-то грузовик стоит, смотри. Yeah, there's a, there's a, you think they're stopping here? You think they're doing some avalanche blasting here? Or is it just a, a guy yeah, checking yeah. out? I don't know what he's doing here. Там, no. uh, Subaru WRX. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a CDOT guy. Colorado Department of Transportation. I don't know what he's doing. Um, the road is starting to get even more icy as we go up higher. And right now this Lexus has not put a wheel wrong. I feel like this thing will go... Uh, exactly where I pointed and have no problems in conquering the Loveland gauntlet. And the reason that we uh, chose this Lexus was we wanted to start out with um, kind of the, the A class, right? The standard. Set the bar high. No. Because when we bring other cars up here, as conditions allow, uh, they won't be as confident because they won't have all this technology, they won't have air suspension, they won't have uh, such a sophisticated uh, all wheel drive off road system. It'd be a lot of fun to take uh, like a BRZ of this. <laughs> <laughs> See the car fishtailing all the way up. All right, here comes uh, the last of the hairpins. And right now there is a guardrail on the left here, Andre. Mm -hmm. So if we were to go straight, uh, let me try the brakes. Yeah, yeah. There's the brakes. We are skidding. So the anti-lock, I think, worked. Yeah, the anti-lock yeah. came on. Right. There was nobody behind us. They did that safely. I just wanted to see what would happen if I took this turn too fast. Uh, but once again, I felt like I was in control. Audi. Yeah, it's an Audi. We have seen Subaru, Audi. Yeah, it's all over. Uh -huh. Oh, now it's skidding. I've got to floor it, and I can feel it skidding around this turn. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, this is where it gets hairy, Andre, because Woo! look down there. 
<laughs> Evater, Evater. I know, and we you won't be like 30 mile an hour winds, and we have a drop off that is what, a thousand feet to our right? Da. And we are on the wrong side of the drop off. <laughs> this is where the little white knuckles come in. Yeah, down there. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm normal. I'm normal. You feel good? No. This would be a very expensive $89,000 sled if I were to go off the side of the road. On my own life. On my own life. All right, here we go. I'm still doing you know, 30 miles an hour. Uh, the car is handling admirably, and even with these mud and snow all season tires it seems to have uh, enough grip that I'm not too scared going around this turn where if I were to go right all of a sudden we would go rolling down the hill. You sure I didn't suburban? Another, yeah, here's another one. Yeah, it's all all-wheel drive at this point because let's face it um, this is some serious winter driving conditions um, and one of the reasons we take these cars up here is if they'll do well in these kinds of conditions, you know that if you're someplace where it's rainy or just a little bit of snow, you'll be doing fine. And the top of the Loveland Gauntlet is almost wiped out right now. It's completely white out conditions. Yeah, I you, you can't see it. Yeah, imagine going up here at night, how scary that would be. I know. Uh, it's almost like a, it's just a hair under 12,000 feet. And really, horsepower is not a factor because we're not going fast enough for it to be a factor mm -hmm. nor do I actually want a lot of power at this point you don't want to break the wheels and tires loose you want them to have as much grip as possible I think um, this is really spooky Andre <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how going, are we going yeah we're going into so belly so belly that all belly a brief belly it's almost complete whiteout isn't it look at that oh, oh and the sheer drop off down there Oh my, oh my, oh my. Come on, Lexus. No, 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 it's a podvesca. Comfort. Oh, it's a good comfort. Don't do that. We don't need support more. No need to have support more. Ah, look, there's a Chrysler. Look at that. There's a, a Chrysler 300 coming down. I would not want to be in that car right now. Good luck, dude. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, and here we go. Here's, I the, top the, here's the top. Well, we're at the top. We made it. Andre, congratulations. <laughs> top of the Loveland. Ah, смотри, какой-то грузовик еще. Yeah, and we are here. Woohoo! Alright, Andre, I just talked. I just talked to the uh, CDOT guy. They're closing the Loveland Pass. Conditions are getting just too dangerous. So let's get on out of here. Let's go on down and uh, make sure that we can get down before they close the pass. So that has been the very first Loveland Pass Goblin. Thanks for watching and uh, come back next time. Ciao, let's go down. Come on, Andre. We just made it. They closed it behind us. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we came up here on the on the craziest day. Now I've got this thing in uh, manual, Andre. Yeah. I'm using the gears instead of the brakes to uh, slow the Lexus down. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Just, just to be on the safe side. I got how many gears do I have? There's first. Which is six. Six gears. Okay, six. six gears. Yeah. So I'm in second. I'm letting the engine do the braking just so I can keep as much traction going as possible. Uh, but man, if we were to go straight here, Andre, there would be no stopping us for 2,000 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. In some ways, actually, up is the easy part. It's always down. It's trickier. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, before they close it permanently, they use a snow plow to keep on coming traffic until all the traffic is through. And since we are the last people coming down, I think you're good to close it now. So thanks for watching, and as always, see you next time. Ciao.